Note, the items that I show in my video are not for sale, trade, or giveaway. If you leave a comment asking about any of these things, the comment will be ignored and deleted. How's it going everyone? And welcome to another Thomas Wooden Railway review video. In this video, I am taking a look at another set which you could either get as the full set or build it using the parts that you already have. Which, in this case, this was built using parts that I already had. So, there's really not anything exclusive unless you count the box. So, the box that this set came in is the only thing that I don't have because I did not get the actual set. I just built the set up from the parts that I already had in my collection. Now, I saw an image in an old pamphlet that shows this set, which is called the Bridge and Tunnel Set in Storage Box. Here's an image of what that set looks like. As you can see, there are once again a couple of some inaccuracies, such as a couple of models that are not the same model that you would have gotten in the set, such as how Scarlowy shown in this video is not the same Scarlowy that you would have gotten in the original set. This is the updated version of Scarlowy that came out in 2012 with the Blue Mountain Quarry gift pack. I decided to use it as a representation for this set review, kind of to give some idea of what the set would be like if they decided to re-release it with all of the updated characters. Included in the set are Neil, Fred Pelhay, Thomas, a normal troublesome truck, Scarlowy, and the breakdown train. A lot of the other destinations that are included would include the Lift Bridge, as well as the Nefford Tunnel, the Stone Viaduct, this stone bridge, whatever it's called, as well as this other stone bridge, whatever they are called, I can't remember off the top of my head, the Stone Tunnel, and a Blue Iron Bridge. As far as the accessories are concerned, there are a couple of signals that are included in the set, as well as Sir Topham Hat and a conductor, as well as a couple of trees and the crossing sign. So, there are a couple of questions that people may ask me, such as, should I get or build this set? Well, I will pretty much give you answers depending on what the scenario is. For starters, if there are some characters in this set that you do not already have, or you are looking for some characters for customizations, but are having a hard time trying to find them individually, then this probably would be a good set for you to get. As far as building is concerned, well, there really aren't a lot of good values when it comes to playing on this set. Like, for example, in order to have some characters turn around, you would need to use the T-piece and have the engines go forwards and then back up, going down the other line. If you want to have the characters be going forwards all the way through, well, then you're going to have to be stuck with them going one way all of the way for the entire set. So my personal thoughts about this set are, well, it's okay. It certainly has a lot of good stuff for building your own sets, but overall, I don't think that I would personally recommend building it. I just built it because I saw an image of the set in an old pamphlet and decided to give this review and to give my thoughts about the set. But if you think that this set is good and you would like to purchase it, or if you have the parts with this already and would like to build it with what you've already got, then feel free to. I mean, I'm just giving my own personal opinion about the set. It doesn't reflect the opinion of everybody, just mine. So that's about all that I have to say about the Bridge and Tunnel set. 
Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again next time.